In this video, we will show you how to manage the Telesystem conferencing service using the hosted VoIP phone system user portal. Conferencing is available to any user who has been assigned to a conferencing bridge by an administrator. It allows you to create and manage conferences you have configured or been assigned to as a delegate on the conference bridge and to access recordings of conferences on the bridge. From the Calling Features tab, scroll down and locate the conferencing section or choose Conferencing from the Service Type drop-down box. Click the View button to display a table of conferences you can administrate and to access a link that will display the bridge or bridges you have been assigned to. The table will provide you with the title, status, phone number, ID, and start time for each conference. You may also click the Call Me Now icon to open a new tab where you may outdial for the conference. To outdial, enter the phone number of the person you wish to join your conference and then click the call button. The system will place an outbound call. When the party answers their phone, they will hear a message stating they have been invited to join a conference call. They must press the number one to join the conference. They will then be placed into the conference call. Long distance calls are subject to long distance charges. Click the edit button for a conference to view the configuration for the conference and make changes. From here, you may change the title, account code, participant settings, and the date of the conference. You may also add and remove delegates to the conference. Delegates are users who may act as conference moderators and administrate the conference you created. Click the Save button at the bottom right corner to keep your changes. To add a new conference, click the Add button. If you are assigned more than one bridge, use the drop-down box to choose which bridge you would like the conference to reside on. Provide a title for the conference. The account code is optional. Enter the estimated number of participants. Note that the number of participants should also include the moderator, and it may not exceed the number of ports for the package your organization purchased. You will then be able to configure settings for the participants. You may choose to restrict the number of participants you wish to have on your conference call, mute all attendees on entry to create a lecture mode conference, end the conference when the moderator departs, and require the moderator to be present for the conference to start. You may also choose to play a notification as attendees join and leave the conference. Options include playing a tone, a recorded name, or no notification. Then, set the type of conference you wish to create. You may choose a one-time conference which requires you to choose a date and time and set a duration for the conference. After the conference expires, it is no longer available for use. A recurring conference requires you to choose a start date and time, duration, and recurrence. The conference will only be available during the set time and recurrence. A reservation list conference requires you to choose a start date and to set an end date. The conference is available to be used at any time, provided there are available ports on the conference bridge. Click the Save button at the bottom right corner of the pop-up window to save your new conference. To view and hear any recorded conferences on the bridge, click the Listen button. If any recordings exist, you can view the conference title, bridge name, start time, and file size. You may click to listen to the recording or delete the recording. Click the Save button at the bottom right corner to save any changes you have made. For more information about our products and services, please visit our support page at telesystem.us.